All right. All right, here, where is my webcam? Why is it hidden? <laughs> All right, there we go. Set up. All right. Jump straight into this. Um, welcome. Welcome to Thursday's stream. <laughs> Uh, and welcome back to Hard Space Shipbreaker. My name is Okada, and uh, you know we're picking up where we left off. You know, last I think it was last stream, last uh, Hard Space stream, we uh, actually found one of our two missing posters. You know, it's been that running joke with the title of the stream that it's the endless search for posters. Uh, and if we turn around here. The, uh, the lady over here was one of the two posters that we were missing. So we now have found half of our goal. And we have one more to find, uh, which we can actually look at the other half. So this, again, we there is a, another version of this poster, one that has not been defaced. And uh, that's what we're looking for. I seem to remember that being a poster that exists. <laughs> and, uh, uh, you know, I'm not surprised we haven't found it considering how long it took for us to find the other one. So, uh, that was our progress last stream. We also worked on a new uh, trash gazer uh, strategy for the reactor, trying to kind of re recover our strategy for it because we goofed up. And lost our first mini me ever on the stream prior, thanks to that that ship. And uh, in fact, tonight we are going to do another trash gazer because uh, you know that's part of that discussion of that that failed strategy that lost our mini me. Uh, it had been pointed out in the stream that there was another strategy that we had attempted at one point, and uh, I wanted to redo it. I wanted to. I wanted the. So we tried a brand new thing that I don't think we tried before last stream. It worked well. I want to try the other thing again. Because, to be honest, it had been so long since we had done that ship, that was why we messed up the the strategy. It was because we I had just kind of done the strategy that I thought we had settled on, and clearly it was not the strategy we had settled on because it didn't work. And we... So we're kind of revisiting old strategies and, and, and redefining what the uh, what's our strategy going to be going forward for the reactor on the on the, the stargazer, the trash gazer. So we definitely are going to do a trash gazer tonight. Uh, I don't know if we're going to warm up on it. Oh, it's nice to having one up and high on the list finally. Uh, I don't think we're going to start with one. Just to, just get you know a little bit warmed up on on something smaller, maybe a mackerel. Give uh, give some of our, our regular viewers a little more time to to to, to jump in on the stream and uh, and remove our excuses for being rusty. A ghost atlas. I don't feel like doing a mackerel. Or uh, an Exolab mackerel. I like the I like the heavy cargo mackerel. I haven't seen like the station hopper mackerel, and uh, you know the passenger one. I don't remember seeing that in quite some time. Huh? There still isn't one. That one there. I'm gonna start light. Um, let's do the let's actually we don't have, we don't normally do the scouts. We haven't done these very often, and you know, hey, it's a ghost ship. So I think we're gonna start off with a ghost ship. Seems like a thing to do. Also here in a couple of minutes I'm gonna have to step away and 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 uh enjoy a little little uh 
Here, Cam. <laughs> Something in the oven. It's gonna it's gonna beep at me in a moment. All right. Let's see here. There's a lot going on in the exterior of this one. going on. Lights all over the place. And as... And so we've done this that I don't remember. Okay, it's grade two processor. Arch. All right. I saw there was a... Um, Was that a new release related to hard space or a new hardware release? Like, now it's on Steam Deck or something? I don't know if that's going to get any attention towards the game, bring us any new viewers. Or uh, new players, like new viewers as well. Something in a tweet. I don't really follow Twitter much, but it always pings my phone. I do have a Twitter account. I just have not been good about using it. Pause the game real quick, like because my alarm is beeping in the background. Just a quick second. Cookies accomplished. Love some fresh cookies on a stream. All right. So I hope everyone is having a good Thursday. It's Thursday, right? <laughs> That doesn't go there. I'm about to say, and so I do work graveyard shift. The day I go to work is not the day I come home, and so I often I'm often not real sure what day of the week it is. Getting a, some notifications here from uh, YouTube that I'm poking a little bit on the stream. I don't know if you guys are seeing that or if there's any audio problems, but definitely let me know. Sometimes those notifications are 
aren't accurate. Sometimes they don't actually mean anything. Sometimes they do. So, uh, if there's any audio problems, fix something here. Yeah, I don't see anything there. Uh, definitely let me know if you guys are seeing any problems or any stuttering, or if there's any audio issues. This is a, I forgot this is a ghost ship and we're uh, fucking things without actually looking for AI nodes. Alright, there's one inside the engine. Of course, those would not get accepted if there were any AI nodes on there, but we did send some stuff to the processor that could have got us. If there's anybody on the outside, all they all appear to be interior. That guy's on the outside. Howdy there. Draw first blood. AI not That's on the exterior of the interior. <laughs> There's one on the console. I'm not sure I've ever seen that before. Usually in the pilot seat. All right, let's uh, find the front door. There it is. Of course, we need to leave the panel on it because they can close the door on us. I think that was our first death in this playthrough. It was the AI shutting multiple doors on us as we were trying to escape a uh, bad situation. So we have broken regulator. Probably should be checking to make sure the rooms are actually pressurized before open doors. All right, so we have working regular here. Already closed door on us. Regulator. Pressurized. Door's already open. Oh, there's a break. What, two regulars in the same room? And something just closed on us. That did. All right. Um, I think we can go through the floor. Come back into the airlock. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Does the downstairs connect with the upstairs? I don't think it does on the small ship. It does not appear to. Alright. So I think what we do... Get pressurize the bottom. We have to open this door anyway and depressurize, force depressurize that. And we just cut our way out to the bottom and then come back in through the upstairs. Try stuff. There we go. All right, that's secured. 
can't monkey with that. And repressure, okay. Cut this door out so they cannot pressurize that outer chamber on us. Any stowaways? Nope. bother going back into the ship for a little bit, you know, up to the pressurized area, because the you know, bottom floor is now depressurized, we can start just salvaging the bottom. Because, you know, we always rotate these ships. We would naturally do the bottom floor anyway first. Five minutes left in the shift, Cutter, okay? Okay. Okay. That's my favorite line from her. Most of the time, she'll just say five minutes left in the shift. She won't, okay, and then she'll just leave it like that. She won't, okay. Be fuel in here too, it's nice. to attach that to. All right, well, this is kind of straight down. Get out of its way. Hopefully we aren't going to need that door handle to get... <laughs> I mean, we're gonna go in through the through the airlock anyway, right? So uh, we're gonna no. So we don't have a working regulator for that room. We could potentially try to wait out the uh, AI, see if it would uh, pressurize it for us. We're gonna do that though. Um, I'm not gonna. I, I want to dismantle the sides, but I think we we should deal with the pressurization first. Oh look, there's one inside the airlock. They are aggressively. Panting themselves all over everything that's fragile. Right. So we're going to. All right, thank you. That in there. door out so they can't redo that. So we get this door right here. Is 
That was that was the event that killed us the first time. Was they? Uh, it was on a um, station hopper, a gecko station hopper. I remember now. The uh, we were going through our depressurization procedure. And I closed a door. We were we already had things depressurized. The, there we go. A little hiccup there. We had everything depressurized. Between the, uh, the passenger chamber and the uh, and the, like the VIP chamber and the, and the regular right, passenger Time chamber. To wrap it up, okay? And we were trying. We One closed the door. Left. To cut it out just like we did there to keep them from the AI from repressurizing and they closed the door or they, they repressurized it just as we were about to cut the door. But we reopened it and re depressurized it and closed the door again. And as I was pressing the button to cut the door out, they repressurized it again, causing a catastrophic uh, event of depressurization because we were depressurizing via cutting at that point rather than just opening doors, and everything started collapsing around us. Are we, are we out of air? I don't remember what the situation was. For some reason, it forced us to, to need to escape. And they kept closing doors on us. I think we were out of oxygen or something. I just remember they kept closing the door every time we tried to every, every time we turned to leave the room, that door would close on us, and then they closed the airlock on us, which has which has to go through the depressurization cycle. It was definitely a coordinated event. How did we lose a door? We've cut doors. I wish I'd saved the clip of that of the AI murdering us. I don't I have no idea what episode that was. Hello Shipbreaker 9346-52. Lynx would like to share the following inspirational message. Make the most of your shift by fanning the tiny sparks of effort into flames of profitability. Alright, we need to make it a focus on this shift to get rid of all the AI. out while we're still here. I'm a little disturbed that the uh, the clamps that hold on the canopy are on the exterior. I mean, I assume that there's technology, you know, to avoid running into stuff, you know, like micro particles and stuff like that on these ships, but it's the thing that keeps, you know, the air in. Shouldn't have the clamps on the outside. Doesn't feel right. Alright, who can we get to do the engine now? There is one inside the engine. over the top engine. Oh, that's definitely gonna get on fire. Yeah. That'll wake you up.
Yeah, I knew about that one right there. That was the one that was on the gas tank. Alright, well, the, the walls are safe. Close out. Just a little bit. Let's uh, let's deal with the next one first, and then we'll I will chat with that AI that's sitting on the gas tank. the green gas, not to the flame. Although, you know, covering ourselves in uh, vaporized fuel probably isn't real good around fire. <laughs> Alright, where, where is that bad boy at? Where are you? There you are. That's well hidden. Nice, toasted ghosts. Alright, definitely no more on here, although I don't think we can actually pull this out. No, oh, we've got the, the wings here. Alright. So, here's a dilemma. I've seen in the past when if we put a object on the barge with a AI node, a lot of times it likes to flip over and have the AI node down, and then makes it virtually impossible to laser it off. But I'm going to turn. I'm, this is an experiment here. Make sure the AI node is straight up. I'm going to carry it down, and then we're going to try to laser it off on the barge. It's on the bottom. Don't roll over. Oh, it's moving all over the place. This is a bad idea. All right, see if we can actually, actually pull it back off. Uh, it's better if it's just not moving, you know? Not moving. Let's stop bouncing around. Okay. A little off the top. There we go. Why are you not your partner go? What? Neither of you should have broken your tethers. Alright, so that is both of the AI nodes related to the engines. We can 
of which we should put those on the barge. I was just, he protected himself. I was just turning to get an angle on the, on the one that's inside the airlock. He saw me coming. Surgical removal there. Oh, there's another one in here. Now, the only thing left that they could pressurize is the airlock itself. I'm going to wait on those. Start stripping the uh, gel. As much as possible, I want, you know, when we're removing AI nodes, that guy right there, I prefer to have them external to the ship. So, we can get them outside, that way if anything goes wonky with the thing that they're on, it doesn't cascade onto other things. Pressurize the. Go to this side instead. Careful from all of these. Astros all over the place. Anybody on this side of the ship? Ah, yes. Hello there. But they aren't on the exterior, so we can go ahead and do that. Five minutes left, Cutter, okay? I think that time she didn't say, okay. Okay, one's the rare uh, voice clip. Leave any, uh, no, get all the lights off the outside. filter we're going to deal with. Scanner. <laughs> that guy on the reactor? Oh, he is. This is supposed to be our warm up ship. Closer to that radiation housing that I want to get. Credit. 
Keeps pressurizing and depressurizing the uh, the airlock. It's the only thing they can they can toy with at this point. Oh, I don't have the exterior off on that one. That's why that one was not moved yet. Oh, let's leave that for now. Right, because the, uh... Yeah, 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 this is a problem. This is a problem. Go away. Okay, that, that's more go away than I wanted you to do. I just wanted to get away from the ship and away from the furnace. I was just starting to drag the entire ship. I didn't want to cancel the tether because I had other tethers doing stuff. Okay, I made a little mess of that, but now we can't hang out from. We're gonna turn the ship anyway, just not at this weird angle. You watching the clock, Cutter? You've got one minute left. You break your own tether already. Tell that is because we know it's going to end at the end of the shift. They don't want them all bouncing around weird, out of our control. Didn't break anything. That's that's a good shift, and you see no red lines at all. I think that that warrants a cookie. Hello, ship breaker. This is your morning wake up call. All right, see if we can finish on this shift. Going a little slow, both because we're a little rusty and because it's an AI ship and those take longer. Builds up. Baby Atlas, so. Salvage is secured. Applying credit. Like to get it done in three shifts. Uh, it's depressurized right now, so let's get advantage of that. Now it should be, yeah, closed. It can't, it can't be repressurized. So we can finally claim this. Grab this whole thing. 
aren't any nodes on it. There are not. I think there might be one on the uh, radiation or the the e-sync thing. Thermal spreader. Always oh, embedded inside. No, right there. Look, unusually thin one. That one looks like he's in an unreachable location, but that's okay because all that goes into the furnace anyway. You can just remain comfortable and ride in with the rest of the ship. Uh, there aren't any more doors that we have to remove, so we can take that off. Honestly, I'm not comfortable with this. I don't remember if we've ever had to remove an AI node from a power cell. AI node terminated. Alright, who's next? We've got that guy on the table. We're going to deal with all that when we flip the ship over. Remove the front or the cockpit off. no one on it. Oh, except for the, the one that's riding on the reactor, because the reactor is on the exterior piece. Alright. So that's problematic, right? Because we have to... We can't... You know, normally we, we take these sensitive objects and we pull them away from the ship and then remove the node from it. Well, if we pull it away from the ship, the reactor starts to melt down. So we gotta do this one live. What could go wrong? Close my wings. We know there's a guy sitting on the console. We lost the mount. Oh, 21,000 for the mounting plate? We couldn't remove that mounting plate. Should have been a processor item anyway. Alright, this guy's gonna be a little annoying because we don't have a clean. I guess we could get this angle right here. Yeah, let's, let's do it. Ooh. On your way. Ship's all kilter. I'm not sure where to connect it to turn it. It's gonna have to do. That's going to be a little bit better. Cancel. 
No, no AI nodes left in the cockpit. All right. We're gonna escort this down because I don't need to bang along the walls. The guys are very resilient. You know, back in, in early access, that would have broke. A little scrape would have broke it. Laser to be too close to the chronics. Anybody riding it? Nope. All right. Broken door pieces out because we don't. You know, we're turning it to the to the towards the barge, so we have a barge shot, and those don't go to the barge. Oh, that was not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. I was thinking that that was all one piece, but apparently it's not. Everything out of the bottom for sure. And I'll rotate this a little bit more, gear ourselves the angle on the barge. This uh little Man table there, I think, is my favorite asset in the game. Cool. At least when it's lit up, it's cool. I see you. I'm popping around, only five minutes left. Time for this. Five minutes left, Cutter. You know what you're doing? Okay. There's one on the wall. That's the one he's hiding in there. Fine, it's all going to the first anyway. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. 
Just that one guy, right? All right. How'd you guys break your own tethers? You didn't even go anywhere. All right, don't make me break my favorite object. Very good. Navigation table, that's what it's called. are cutting it close. A lot of cutting to do. Got radiation housing, we got this air filter, we got the rest of the ship to get into the furnace. Stuck to move on. All right, two minutes. What are we missing? What are we missing? Objects, a light bar, uh, maybe a thing out there. Sweep. That's all furnace, furnace, furnace. External. One minute left, Cutter. Start finishing things up. All right? Get that up. Get all this garbage swept away. Pew pew! You get 16 seconds to get in there. Oh, two seconds, one second. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if all of it got in there. Uh, I mean, there's only 12,000 remaining, so there might have been like a little fraction of it still left. We're not doing a, another shift for potentially like eight or nine thousand crits. <laughs> we'll uh, we'll give that to the next cutter who comes in there and gets as it gets sucked in as the as the thing turns on. And of course, the last node uh, went in with it because it was embedded in the wall. Uh, we got credit for that. Another another fully uh, cleaned ship. Good morning, Cutter 9346-52. Lynx would like to share the following inspirational message. 
the greatest reward in life is the chance to work hard at work worth doing. Okay. Uh, so our gecko for tonight again is going to be a, a trash gazer, so we're going to save that. The medium. Do it. Yeah, I, like I said, I really, I really like the the revamped heavy cargo javelin. It's potluck whether or not we get one with the interior, but I like it all overall. I think that's what we'll do. I feel like they differentiated it enough from the other one, the, the tanker, that now it feels different which ones we're doing. Like all the geckos feel different from each other, even though they're the same generic shell or generic design. Something outside my window, I can't know what it is. Not important. All right. Barge. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. I got two demo charges. Whoops. I need to. I need to get some more of those. Starter. Oh. Caution. Tether supply depleted. Uh, is there anything else for us to... Alright. Let's okay, so demo charge real quick. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. Breaks, breaks. Salvage secured. Applying credit. Welcome to Venditron 9000. Thank you. You know, we always try to make max profit on the first shift of a javelin. Obviously, we, we get more profit on the uh, anchors. They're double ion rings. It's great to see what we can do on these. the streams. Oh. All over the place. At least with these bottom ones removed before we run into our tether limit. We can uh, start cutting out the uh, side panels. Okay. I desperately not to puncture the hole. Salvage deposit accepted. Credit transferred. Oh, Sam almost caught the plating in that cut. Top ones yet. Bottom ones. Transferring credits. You know we won't. All right, we're gonna cancel tethers. I don't want to be cutting when there's potential crates in the way. Unlikely that I would hit one, but you know. Gotta do both anyway, might as well do it in a safer way. Salvage deposit confirmed. 
Why am I seeing a red tether? Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. Probably shouldn't be monkeying with these right now because we have the reactor to do still. We're on this side of the ship. End of the ship, I, so, I guess I should say. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. the center bit real quick like you know the thing that go boom salvage deposited applying credit to account kind of forgot about this part rewards allocated with you. Just go. Don't go away mad. Just go away. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. 
back. Already open the door so we can get in more quickly. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. Regulator is working. Air pressure level decreasing. All right, all right, all right, let me in. Oh, goodness. It stuttered a little bit with that damage. But I sent the whole thing up. I thought it was going to be a earth shattering kaboom. Alright, alright, alright. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Hey Cutter, you've got five minutes left in this shift. Hope you're having fun. Go, 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 go! Applying credit. Cancel tethers. All right. Goal achieved. Rewards allocated. Salvage deposit registered. Have to turn so we can get a good angle for this. Accept that. Trust that that's not going into the furnace. Right? Not going into the furnace? You are trying to go into the furnace. Of course you are. Why wouldn't you? Um, ba -ba -ba, I don't... I want to tether it out, but I don't want to tether it out because I need those tethers that are already in progress. So we'll just go inside. Push it out. Or not. I'm holding you on. Ah! Damage okay. Be sure to always budget for helmet repair costs. We're not doing that again. Are you not leaving? Doesn't like that cut. That was what it was. Slow down, slow down. value in the last minute. Maybe get this ring out there. Knowledge deposit confirmed. 
into the other direction because the side car is over there. Airlock depressurizing. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else valuable that we can pull in the next few seconds. So let's see if we can do in, in, in the interior of this side car. Still a pretty good first shift. Pretty solid. Air pressure level decreasing. There. Now we don't have to fight our way back into the into the room. That'll save us a little bit of time also. Seventeen million. On the on the uh heavy cargo one, not the the uh fuel one. With the, the double ion rings. That's a really good first shift. I'm pleased with that. We didn't get to go to the to the front and do any of that stuff, you know, where we could potentially, you know, get at the uh, power regulator, which is always a stretch anyway. But we we have pulled that off on one of the javelins. <laughs> I can't remember which one. I don't know if we've done it since 1.0 though. Yeah, we did it. I know we did it in early Warning access, but breaker. it was always. Wave are high. You know, we, we couldn't this incorporate it as a regular strategy thing because in early access we had that problem with the, uh, the fuse panels being embedded into other walls. And when you're, you know, so pressed on time. You couldn't incorporate that as a strategy thing of it was unreliable. You know, we spent the time coming to the front trying to get airlock depressurizing, trying to get uh, all the fuse panels pulled so that you could pull the re regulator, and then found a regulator was stuck, or the fuse panel was stuck. Then that was just lost time. We we never made it a, a regular strategy because of the unreliability of it. And it's a problem they fixed. I, just, I don't think we deposited. ever went back and officially worked into the strategy. I know we've tried at it before since then, but I don't know if we've succeeded in 1.0. Oh, before we do that, let's get this off the wall. Ship's pretty well packed as well. All the optional bits are in full force. Usually there's a monitor or two missing, you know. Tether supplies dropping. Good. More money. Salvage secured. Applying credit. Before we cut the airlock off, let's not forget to remove some stuff inside of it. Why did you re-engage? 
airlock depressurizing. Already pulled the door handle from the other side. That was an ambush waiting to happen. Clean, all right. That's the side that's usually clean. This one almost always requires multiple cuts. Had it come clean a couple of times. Oh, I think we did it again. Ah, that's way too soon. Yeah, there it was. There a little piece. Still better than usual. Pulling me towards it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Bye bye. And all in one piece. Material accepted. Bye bye. Right. You can go with them. Nice not having to check Locked things for AI nodes. Like the center where they go. Credit deposited. That one ghost ship. Uh, that's all it takes. It, it rattles you. Being paranoid. I was thinking, did I check that? No, oh, no, I don't have to check that. It's not, it's not an AI ship. I kind of missed the old version of this ship where this ring didn't come apart and you actually needed to use demo charges or we chose to use demo charges to free up the ring. It was very satisfying. I don't disagree with the change, but I do kind of miss it. Valuable object process. Credits deposited. Uh, let's see here. We need to cut this free. Um. I feel like I'm trying to reinvent the wheel every time I do this. Because it's always like, I feel like I can do it differently. Excuse me. Safe distance, fire and hole. We're a little wonky, but they're clear. All right. So we need to do. So there we're required to cut this.
we can cut the middle of the cage. Always keep the laser on the outside. Not paranoia if they're actually out to get you. I think, I think we're cutting it right here. We'll cut these out. All right, three out of four. Yeah, I think this is all one bar, so I don't think it really matters where we cut it. Pleasantly surprised. I'll highlight the whole cage. All should be furnace. Lovely, nice. The giant fuel container that is significantly lighter than the tiny one that's in the mackerel that can't drag it's so heavy. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. That's dragging us all the way forward. So heavy. Alright, um I don't think we need to bother cutting the cage. Love tap this up just a little bit. Cutter, got about five minutes left till you're done for the day. Oh, that's got itself wrapped up real nicely. All right, well, let's start dragging this, and then we'll uh, out of tethers. Try to help everything out that gets stuck. We're out of tethers. Alright, came, came apart quite cleanly. Alright, let's get ourselves some tethers. Ooh. A little nudge there. Welcome to Vendatron 9000. Thank you. We went through that last for the 50 tethers awfully fast. It's noticed a door console there that we missed on the first shift. We opened up the, we turned the switch as we went by, save us time. But then we forgot to actually pull the, the console. Processing valuable deposit. Credit transferred. Material deposited. Okay, we gotta unstick this guy. He's really got himself all tangled up. There you go. Wiggle your way into the processor. A 
We'll check back in on him. <laughs> I'm not so sure he's gonna go all the way. Yeah, I got that feeling like he's gonna not cooperate. Okay, is the back half of the ship complete? Oh, so we got the, the interior cargo configuration. I love that. Alright. Anzo Freight. Working regulator there. Actually, that's all I needed to see. I've already. Here I said what I want to look for. One minute left on the clock, Cutter. One minute. One minute. Air pressure. And the shift is like the previous shift inside a. Car. Or working on a sidecar. Parking there. Processing valuable deposit. Credit transferred. I thought you were tethered to that. Salvage secured. Yeah, they're supposed to be tethered to that one. Five million credits in a in a shift. A little bit of a letdown compared to the seventeen million on the previous one. That's the nature of what we're doing in these, right? The, on the javelins, our money's front loaded. Morning, ship breaker. Please enjoy the following inspirational message. Success is not the key to happiness. Happiness is the key to success. If you love what you do, you will be successful. chain together yeah all right that'll work salvage secured account credit applied art collector salvage deposit confirmed applying credit Pressurized again. It should be, I guess. I I prefer the airlock didn't repressurize itself. <laughs> Although the, we know the interior room is. Credits awarded. We expected that warning. Didn't 
doesn't actually be pressurized or anything. For our next depressurization vector. So there are, I don't think there's ever a, oh there is one in here, okay. What in the world was that about? There's no AI nodes in this ship. You guys saw that, right? <laughs> Close itself. Suspicious. All right, broken. These are always a pain when they're, are you know, airlocks blocking, uh, you know, the depressurization routine. I guess we can break that wall, that door. Stuff, get it out of the way. There is an asteroid in here. That's not normal. I did not see a regulator. Right. So. We are going to have to depressurize through an airlock. That is never fun. We can we can hit the button on this one. These doors are going to close. We're going to cut one out. It's going to close the other door. We're going to cut it again. We have to have two depressurization events because the airlocks don't cooperate. And there'll be a third one on that back door. That's not a big deal. That doesn't involve cutting, we just press the button. Wonder if... Try something. That's probably a terrible idea. Airlock depressurizing. Yeah, it's a terrible idea. But it gave me a different idea. Airlock pressurizing. Air pressure level decreasing. Nope, it's not gonna work. Oh well. I'm trying to figure out a way of only having to cut one of these doors once there's a depressurization situation. Which means one of the doors would have to be already gone. Airlock pressurizing. Like if I cut that, the door behind me is going to close. I'm going to try to work through this. Let's see Airlock depressurizing. So, while this is pressurized... Air pressure level increasing. We have equilibrium across everything. No, because we don't have a way of having these doors closed. We need the doors to be closed while everything's pressurized, but the only way to have these doors closed is if the airlock itself is depressurized, which means the cut is going to cause an event. Yeah. There's no way around it I can think of. Air pressure level decreasing. All right, we'll just uh, let's do it. No, that didn't close the door behind me. That's. Different? Okay. That's what we want. 
Oh, asteroid. Alright. We can see all the way out to the back of the bay. That means that's all depressurized. We still get the outer hull. That's simple. I'm, now that we asteroid in our way, can't get into there. <laughs> You know what? Don't worry about it. Oh no! Oh, I forgot that the back wall can be cut. Because that's the uh, paneling for the for the panels. Rather than spend the time figuring out which ones I can split so all safely or not, I'm just gonna Fuel levels are critical. cut straight down the line. Pressurized. Oh, I guess there is. There's the other thigh <laughs> that we couldn't get to because of the asteroid being in our way. why we do the range upgrade on this. Man, that's some serious range. Also, we're stuck because the wall moved and kind of pinned us. Uh... Yeah, we are still and make that free. There we go. I'm surprised we didn't get a crushing warning. We lost some aluminum. Hey, Cutter. I didn't see an aluminum panel on ship. that. I guess there's a Fine. little bit. Yeah, there's a little bit of structure that's aluminum. It can't be helped. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Big C Burger. Welcome. Oops. The stream. And uh, good evening to you as well. Recognize your name. You're new to the stream, aren't you? We've been kind of on an off day, so our regulars aren't here. Or they're being quiet. <laughs> I'm sitting quietly, hoping to, to catch me finally run out of fuel. Oh, there's an aluminum panel. I wonder if there was one on the one we sent. I don't think there was. Typically, I noticed that. 
Yeah, I think it was just aluminum structure. Well, welcome. I'm, I'm glad you were uh, able to make one of our streams. Always love to see a new name. Weekday streams are kind of our casual stream, are kind of not so structured stream. Are you going to make it or not? So, hard space is really good for that because it's not serialized. Um, the weekend, weekend streams are, are what I consider our mainstream when we do uh, the continuation of you know, some kind of whatever game we're trying to get through. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. Sunday we started a fresh run of uh, stack lands. Our next weekend stream will be the continuation of that. Oh, absolutely. This is a very relaxing game. Salvage secure. Ironically, it, like it is, it is, it is the perfect time killer game. I agree with you. Ironically, for me, it's not a time killer game because um, since we don't have multiple profiles in the game, I only have my stream profile. <laughs> so I only get to play it when I'm streaming. Account credit applied. Uh, so this is my this is my fun time with the game. <laughs> well, I stream whatever I can because I. I Love playing it, but I don't want to accomplish something between streams that we've been working on. Credit applied. So we've we've had our entire career together. I'm not mad about it. I mean, I've had I've I have more hours in this game than just about anything. Transferring credit. Playing it in early access and all the tutorials I've made for it and all that stuff. I have absolutely got my money's worth out of this game. I really hope that someday they either make a DLC for it or a part two. Okay, this is going to be pressurized, isn't it? Oh, okay. Applying credits to account. We want to get inside. One minute to go. One minute already, Dee Dee. No, I just got out of here. Um, is the yeah the ring is okay. Uh, aluminum panel on the bottom. Aluminum panel. That's our entry point. There. Put that off. Perfect. That. Raw material accepted. Oh, I can pressurize. It is. That wall cannot be cut. Oh nice, so you're playing it on Xbox? I, I, it's, I've long ago uh, left behind consoles, but um, I feel like this game probably play, plays itself real well to console play. It lends itself probably well to console play. Especially if people are, if you're, if you're good with the uh, three-dimensional X-axis, you know, with the uh, thumb pads, thumbsticks, it's probably, uh, Probably works out real well. So I can see this being a good console game for sure. Good morning, Cutter. It's time to begin your work day. Hey, Jared. Uh, how much longer are we going to stream? It. This is so hard. Space usually takes up about four and a half hours. So we go through when we go through one of each ship type. Right about one and a half hours. So about three more, I'd say. About three more hours for tonight. 
We'll do we'll do four ships. We've already done our Atlas, which took us a little longer than usual because it was an AI ghost ship. Uh, we're doing our Javelin. We're going to do a um, Gecko uh, Stargazer, which we call the Trash Gazer, because <laughs> we want to we want to do a, we want to revisit old strategy. Um, and we'll probably do a mackerel somewhere. Like we'll, after this ship, we'll probably do a mackerel, and then we'll probably finish it up with the uh, the trash gazer. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. Object processed. Transferring credits. Oh no, I I, I like. Uh, so you say it's the Stargazer isn't as bad as the, tra uh, the crew transfer. You're talking about the uh, Station Hopper. Station Hopper is my second favorite ship in the game. Uh, right behind the uh, heavy cargo Gecko. So my two favorite ships are both Geckos. Uh, yeah, the Stargazer is not a bad ship. We just... So for those who weren't present... Oh, I should have closed the door to cut out. Uh, in this, you know, we've been... This career mode, we've been playing since 1.0. And two streams ago, we had our first ship that we did not get a mini-me on. Of the entire career, we had mini me every single ship. And I, it was a trash gazer. Car gazer. And it was... Just, we had gotten out of practice on doing this ship, and uh, I had done a... I, Followed a reactor strategy because we'd we'd done a lot of different variations of the reactor strategy on that ship because it's, it's reactor is in a unique setup and it'd been so long since we had done the ship uh, that I defaulted to a strategy that wasn't a good strategy, thinking it was the strategy we'd settled on, and I didn't think it through until it was too late. And then I did something dumb after that that I declared ahead of time was a dumb thing to do, and I did it anyway. Um, and it cost me enough damage that we didn't get our mini me. So we're kind of hitting, we're revisiting the the, the stargazer, trash gazer, what we call it here, um, a little heavily to re-explore our our reactor strategies and. I had to decide on what strategy we want to use. Did you might know, rewatch that re that stream. Yeah, it was it was a sad day. We'd gotten we we were on a perfect run through the entire career. And it was entirely my fault. I mean, aside from the the fact that I made a mistake on the strategy, so the strategy that we used was to disconnect the uh, the ECU from the reactor instead of the thrusters. I always do only one or the other. And I forgot that in doing so, we shut off power to the thrusters and the switches to the thrusters no longer work. So we can't detach them from the pipeline. Which is something I know. I, I I know that's the way the game works, but I just forgot. I wasn't paying attention. And as soon as I took a look at it, I went, "Oh, I know what I did wrong," and it was too late to go back. And there is a correct way of responding to that, which is that you put the the thrusters on the barge and then cut the pipe. The pipe will still explode. You still lose value from the pipe exploding but it will save the thrusters and I declared that ahead of time I said I should do this I should drag it to the drag it to the barge and then cut it and then I went you know what I don't feel like doing it <laughs> I just I for some reason I got cocky and thought you know what I can get away with cutting it there'll be an explosion but the thrusters will survive I'll just lose the pipes I was which is not what happened to blow up the thrusters 
and it was entirely my fault. I declared ahead of time, don't do this, and I did it anyway. I, it was purely out of laziness. I just didn't feel like moving it. Uh, but I didn't. I didn't anticipate it costing me the, the mini me. That was. If I had realized it was going to cost me the mini me, I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have pulled that stunt. I mean, it was, it was partially laziness and partially experimenting because that's what we always do on this, right? We always explore how things work and what can we get away with. And I was exploring whether or not we could get away with it. And, um, nope, didn't get away with it. The last stream we tried it an entirely different strategy that I don't think I've done in the past. That worked out quite well. But a viewer had mentioned one of the strategies that, one of the number of strategies that we had done in the past uh, that I had forgotten about that is kind of a fun, fun thing to do. So that is something we're going to try tonight. See if it's better than the new strategy. Go down. You don't need to go with them. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. So tonight's final ship will be a stargazer. And we call it Trash Gazer because in early access, there was just ridiculous, copious amounts of garbage floating around inside it. And that's when it inherited the name Trash Gazer. And in fact, the one that we lost the Mini Me on, earlier in that, on working on that ship, I had. That's not what I want to do. Not what I want to do. Look at this. I had said, you know what, if we were being unfair, still calling it a trash gazer, and we were going to go back to calling it a stargazer. But they, they kind of cleaned it up a bit. And then it burnt us. So now it's a trash gazer from now on. We were trying to show it respect. I just realized the, the crates have the, uh, the Tori. Or the Hanzo, is it what? The Hanzo, the Tori on Hanzo. Hanzo Freight, is Hanzo Freight logo on it? Tori Hanzo obviously being from uh, Kill Bill. Still can't get in there because that stupid asteroid. Still in the way. Oh, we have to go through the asteroid because we pulled the door handles off. All right, fine. Let me get these real quick. Grab that little straight piece of metal or aluminum that's gonna be a floating bit later on. Two, three, crap. We want, we want to grab that guy right there. Three crap. Let's just clear this room out. Then we'll worry about getting past that asteroid. Probably stuck to something, yeah. Be that bad. Don't 
moving. Yeah, I see a little, little edge of that tether. It's still attached. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. Five minutes left to get your work done. Okay, Cutter? Five minutes already, Dee Dee. These ships are going fast. Salvage deposit accepted. Squeeze past the asteroid. But, yeah, there we go. Salvage goal obtained. Out there. Additional rewards assigned. Base billiards. Let her out of the way so we can get back in here. Deposit accepted for processing. Airlock depressurizing. Airlock depressurizing. Sure enough. He is always in the way. There it is. Like, what is holding that still on? I figured there was something I missed. Oh, it's all one piece of that. Oh, there we are. That's better. Objects on it that we care about. Salvage deposited. Applying Just credit to keeping a battery with it though. Yep, we're good. Those are just fuse panels. One more shift on this ship. Probably not even a full shift. Why do you not... One minute left to finish things up, Cutter. That shouldn't still be attached. Figure it out once we get that ring free. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. Okay. I'll get this front detached before the end of the shift. That way we have access. Boop. Very 
the beginning of the shift, we'll be able to fly in. Front. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. Hopefully that, uh, that front panel doesn't float to the front of the hab and cut us in half when we materialize coming out the door. I wonder what happened if we'd park a large object right in front of the door. Try that sometime. Good though, I think we will have a cookie. Good morning, shipbreaker. Lynx mandates a maximum of eight hours of sleep. Any extra sleep time will be docked from the next pay cycle. All right. Final shift. Hey there, liquid. Uh, that light is not going to look. We're going to get credit for it. I think we probably already got credit for it. Why is that not? See, light. We got credit for the light. Nice try, liquid. It, it is true that I I now I send things to the barge at the last second out of defiance because we you know we know we know how it used to behave. And so now I now I do it kind of out of defiance. Valuable object processed. Credits deposited. How are you doing today, Liquid? We've missed you the past uh, stream or two. How's married life treating you? Oh, I forgot what to pressurize. I forgot we like to pressurize this one and, and, and have it fly off like a rocket just for fun. Yeah, the javelins are fun ships. I said the uh, the uh, the gecko is my favorite class, but I like all of them. I feel like the javelins are the most challenging ship. There's there's more variation. Ready oh, credits floating out here. More variation in the strategies. You know, there's different ways. I've, we, we've come up with a bunch of different ways of doing the same thing in these ships, which is good. Processing object. Applying credit to account. Oh, unlocking the cylinder that is, you know, the, the rounded ship and getting things out of it. Salvage secured. Coming up with efficient credit. ways of doing that. Okay, that's still connected to something. <laughs> it's probably fine, Liquid. Uh, attendance is not mandatory. Why is this still connected? I don't... What am I missing? Is too heavy? It should be too heavy. 
Oh, first, I still don't know why the aluminum didn't come off the bottom like it was supposed to. Huh. We're just gonna have to brute force it. See, it doesn't know that it's been cut free. Yeah, we lost more than we normally would. Better than nothing. Raw material accepted. In a way, it cuts the lumen panel quite. Yeah, it's, it, normally it's very clean. Like the one we got earlier, like that's gonna vaporize the rest of it. Tried to fill your 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 fill from another streamer with their head head headwear was uninspiring. Hey, yeah, can't knock the fedora, the lifestyle. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transfer. I we're saying that it would be nice if they could if the developer would pair with other other f famous space. Uh, IPs to get their ships in. Um, I think that this company is associated with Homeworld. I think the developers worked on Homeworld. I, I don't remember. I don't remember their relationship to Homeworld. I'm pretty sure they have a relationship. So, like, they have... Like, they probably have access to... You know, legality access to things like homeworld chips. I mean, the individual programmers, I don't think, work on homeworld, but I think the developer or publisher... Or like, they, they, there was a big thing during the development cycle when people were associating them with homeworld. I just... I didn't dig into it. Uh, but there's certainly, it, it, there are, there's a, I mean, there's a lot of great ships we'd love to see in here. The ship I would like to see in here, which we would never see happen, it would be Firefly. Serenity. It's actually the ship. How cool would it be to, to cut up the, the Serenity? Processing valuable deposit. Credits transferred. I just about sent that into the processor. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. Started thinking about Firefly and my mind immediately left the game. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. It would definitely have to have the music. I mean, there's already there's already a a Firefly esque twingy. In fact, I think it's the song it's playing right now. It's kind of, it's real low on my side. Um, music in this got the same southern twingy. Material own to it. One, one of the tracks. But yeah, if we, if we get the, the classic Firefly theme song going while cutting up Serenity, that was just the best thing ever. Although it would have to be a generic Firefly, like if if it actually had the Serenity painted on the side of it, I would feel too bad. Like I can't cut up the actual Serenity. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. Then that would mean that Mel and the crew aren't out there flying around anymore. Salvage 
Hist historical spaceship. Well, I mean, I don't know how, you know, I don't know about salvaging like the Voyager probe. I don't, I mean, that's not a very big object. It'd have to be something like the Challenger. You know, one of one of the the U.S. the, the now retired U.S. spaceships. One of the ones that didn't blow up. Um, those are large enough and have you know the comp compartmentalized set up that I think that they would make for good cutting. Or of course the International Spaceship would be, you know, something like that would be fun to, to cut up too. With all the compartments and all the stuff in them. Well they're not not lost in space. Well I mean I don't know if the Voyagers are considered lost in space. We know where they're at. No, but it would be, uh, yeah, no, I mean, I, I agree that it wouldn't make a whole lot of sense for us to cut up, like, what would be a museum ship at this point. But it would, you know, it would be something of that style. You know, we could be, we could be working on a a black market cutting uh, gang, right? Like, you know, right now we work for Lynx, which, while they're not exactly a good company, they're visible. You know, you could be part of a, a an illegal salvage crew that has their own cutting rig off the, you know, off the radar, you know, behind a moon somewhere. Or they take all their illegal, stolen, or hijacked ships to cut them up. Like a chop shop. Then you could cut up anything. Voyager probe. Challenger. Sputnik. You know, again, the, the International Space Station has been decommissioned by now, but it's still floating around. You know, just, they could heist it while no one's looking, and then by the time the by the time uh, old Earth re realizes it's gone, it's too late. We we're already we we're already chopping it up. <laughs> uh, yeah, they are retiring. That's correct. They are retiring the the. International Space Station, but I, I don't think they're going to do that anytime soon, right? There's no, there's no real uh, current replacement for it, and I think there's still too much value, scientific value in its usage. I think, right? I think the reason why it's being retired is just because it's getting so old that probably the maintenance is probably becoming problematic. You know, re retire it before it becomes a uh, danger. I nine point four percent. Hey, you say you like that story? So it would be it would be hard space meets GTA. New gateways. So you're talking about, or so are we talking about reality? The new, the replacement for the ISS. All the team at Links would like to I have no idea. I haven't followed. Day. I haven't followed any because, I mean, I, I anything like that is going to be years, years and years into the future. We still don't have the delivery vehicles necessary to be doing all that. You know. Uh, SpaceX is still ramping up the size of their launch vehicles. 
or, or the launch platforms. Oops, we're not going into that. Uh, and then there's, you know, modules to be made, and I figure I'll pay attention to that a little closer to when it, it's closer to being a reality. All right, so the macro station hopper. Oh, darn it. I wanted to do a station hopper macro, and it has to be an AI ship. No, I already did one of those tonight. We're going to... The two things we want to do are not on here. So we're gonna we're gonna cycle our our uh, list real quick, like. It's interesting. I just noticed that there was an inventory option. I'm not even sure what the inventory is. The lunar space station planned to go up with a space. SpaceX Starship, uh, Spaceship 2, isn't it supposed to be Starship 2, something like that? I know that they were launching, or just launched their biggest uh, rocket ever. Not theirs, I mean like the largest rocket. It's either just launched or getting ready to launch. With my job, I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting behind on some of the news. Cutter 9346-52. It exploded? Oh goodness. That's unfortunate. It was glorious. Probably not not from their standpoint, but big explosions are interesting to watch. Can't argue with that. All right, station hopper. It's a little far down on the on the hazard level nine, but we'll take it. It is a mackerel after all. It's a lynx mackerel. The saucy Miranda. They saved the booster station. I saw, um, and I've been a little bit behind on it, which is kind of sad. Um, I saw the the new booster landing platform. Where they're now catching the the booster instead of it landing on its own feet. Spectacular to watch. I will never get tired of watching them recover boosters. Like I remember seeing the first successful booster landing. It was just awe inspiring. I mean, such a feat. Salvage deposit accepted. I get goosebumps every time I see them pull it off. And then I, I saw the other day, I saw the video of them actually catching one on a harness, you know, the arms. I remember, you know, reading about or seeing that they were proposing doing that. I didn't know they had already, Airlock were already doing it. So that was pretty cool to see. Anything else external we need to remove? Boom. Oh. That I can see. So if they saved the booster stage, that means the explosion wasn't coming right off the pad then, right? That must have been pretty high up. Must have been like second stage that blew up. Yeah, I like to watch the retrievals, the, the landings live if I can. Okay, so that's not a real door. It has a broken regulator. But it also does not have a real door, so I guess we're a one button depressurization. Fuel levels are low. Pressure level decreased. Pro prototype starship went boom, yeah. 
I guess that's what the prototypes are for, right? <laughs> Airlock depressurizing. Better to blow them up when they're not carrying precious cargo. That back panel is the one that's got the uh, computer terminal on it. Yeah, there, there's very little reason to have anything manned anymore. Testing or otherwise, unless you're actually sending, you know, people to a thing. Deposit accepted for processing. Everything is so, so well remote controlled at this point. And the, uh, the... The Artemis trip, you know, around the moon that's planned, that's still another like a year or two out, even though they've already announced the, the crew. by 2028. I would be surprised. Wow, they're, that sprung all the way back up to the ship. I think we're pretty far out Salvage deposit accepted. Credit from um, putting a base on anything. Salvage deposited. Just so you know, the, the politics account. for funding and, and um, there's still a lot, you know, like in order for us to, in order for us to build a base, even on, on the moon, we need to have much better rockets for traveling to and from. Is going to going to the International Space Station is trivial compared to going to the moon. You just talk about you know the fuel requirements to, to break orbit. It's just tremendous. So if we're going to establish anything that's higher than low Earth orbit, then it's the fundamental change in the way we, we do things. And I don't think we have the 
means for a while, or we won't have the means for a while to do that. But obviously, we have the technology, we can get there and back, but... The turnaround time and making it efficient and worth doing, I don't think we're there. That's probably a... There's probably so much more testing that needs to be done on, you know, what is it going to mean for the human body to live on a, another another celestial body? I mean, we got a lot of data for them surviving, Salvage you know, for X amount of time on a nearby space station, but that's a whole different animal. So I would expect that we would establish some kind of unmanned outpost for for leaving instruments running for extended periods of time. I'll break. Woo! Salvage secured. Credits deposited. I don't be pessimistic about it. I just something that it's such a big leap that any estimate that I see now. I think it's probably very generous. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. Oh, fuel. Oh, it's all broken. Oh, drive. Ah, it's corrupted. It's not something we can listen to. Um, bah, bah, bah. we still need to get into the walls. I'm gonna do it from here. Remember the days back when the exterior wall would stay pressurized and you could actually cut it free and have the air push the whole thing apart? It was so fun. Hey Cutter, five minutes left in this shift. Damn it, that's All right. not the one we want to cut. All right, we want to cut this one and not, oh, I don't like how close this is. Yeah, it was a satisfying whoosh, exactly. Alright, so I don't cut. Not as clean as I'd like for it to be. That was cleaner. Warning. Fuel levels are critical. Return to the master jack to purchase supplies. Free that load bearing glass so we can get the raw material deposited. Transferring hole credit. opened up. Processing object. Applying credit to account. That is a panel. Oh, why did it take all the panels off? I just wanted to take the one off so I could get the I remember when I first started playing this, I would take every single panel off and send them in individually.
Those were the days. Salvage deposited. Days of high inefficiency. A lot of fun though. Processor deposit accepted. Credits awarded. Kind of a zen process pulling each one of them off one at a time. Salvage goal achieved. Rewards allocated. Oh, it turned it the wrong way. I hope I didn't click it, stop it that fast. There we go. I try to make it the rest of the shift without getting fuel like we're okay. Others. Oh, unfortunately, I'd like to run them out. At the beginning of the shift, we could buy fuel and tethers. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. I don't think we have seven tethers worth of stuff in the next one minute. Shift's almost done, Cutter. One minute left. Through. Let me through. before the end of the shift. That way we're gonna pull it out from the outer side. Yeah, didn't lose anything important. You gotta start somewhere, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, with the in, in regards to like the a lunar outpost, I'm like, I mean, I can't wait to see something like that. I think it's gonna be the most amazing thing we've ever done, and we should have already been there. You know, trying to keep politics out of the channel for the most part, but you know, at least on the U.S. side of things, Good morning, we spent a little bit more money on science and a little less on military than uh there's a lot of cool stuff we could have accomplished by now but at least we're still making some progress oh fuel welcome to venditron after fuel thank you for your purchase All right, so we cut that free, but we've cut these off yet. Salvage deposit That's all one unit, it's a twin to sell. I know, test supplies are low. I tried to use them up for the end of the shift, but I knew that wasn't realistic. Salvage 
salvage secured. Got it, boss. Applying credit. Salvage registered. Transferring credit. I gotta fight with you. It's four times as heavy as the gigantic fuel tank on the javelin. Object accepted for processing. Credits deposited. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. Deposited. Have to pull a power cell because we still have that turn a bunch of power cells, which is good because we forgot to turn the switch. The thing we're supposed to do early on in the ship. So, you know, that could be, and our thought about it, but that could be our fourth tool, you know, um, the one to the left that is not on the wheel could be something like a, a battery pack. Valuable object processed. Credits deposited. You know, like a, like a remote pack like we'd have for a, like a jumpstart for a car. You could hook up to a unpowered device on the ship and, and power it again then just recharge it later that way if you do accidentally pull all the power cells you could still hook it up to like the switch and then uh, and turn it on long enough to go uh, safely detach it or operate doors you know and I, I think I think that that would open up having like electronic faults within the ship so you would it wouldn't just be restricted to you making the mistake of having pulled these too soon there would just be doors that just wouldn't work because they're broken you know the, because the power to them is broken and so you would need to uh you would need to do a direct connection to them and power them temporarily to get through them Yeah, it'd add depth to the puzzles. Yeah, it would. I mean, you, you always risk the, like, you know, there's the balance risk of, does this, does this mechanic add something to the game? Or does it just make it more gimmicky? something I'd like to try I think it would be a, a nice option to have but if you relied on it too heavily then it might become gimmicky and just become annoying as opposed to adding you know quality to the game I think that it could be done with and, and make it good uh, is this yeah, so from the other side so we don't accidentally beam across and hit the uh, fuel tank It just always feels strange in a game when you have a, 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 a an access wheel that isn't full. <laughs> like there's a there's a sec section there, it's gotta be used. You gotta fill it up. Otherwise, just put three objects on it and make it a you know three piece pie as opposed to a four piece. I understand why it's four, you know, the quadrants, just so that you actually have the cardinals, especially if you're on. On a uh, controller, it's easier to, you know, make sure you hit the cardinals. Yeah, why? What haven't I unlocked exactly? You feel like there's just something else there that I haven't discovered yet. You know, if anything, like, Salvage like, let us put a picture over there. Credit. You know, like one of the posters. So you could like. Put part of one of the posters on there, like uh, you know, 
like having a picture of your your you know your significant other in a in a locket that you open up and you can look at it. Classic in all its you know TV shows and movies. There's always a someone's always got a uh, pocket watch with a pic picture in it or something like that. Account credit applied. A picture of your girl on your on your access wheel. Something to something to fill it up. We're out, tethers. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. Welcome to Vendatron 9000. It is one thing that this game is lacking, which is personalization. I mean, we can hang our posters in our on our hab, which is nice and appreciated. Game has frozen. Come on, there you go. And you can put stickers on your on your tools, which is also nice. I'm not sure what else to suggest. I mean. More personalization would be nice. Change the color of our tools. I don't know. I mean, there's no real good in personalizing our character because we don't actually see our person. There'd be no point in that. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. Accepted for and at the end of the day, this is just a puzzler game, right? It's not really an RPG. They did a good job of sticking to the, the core purpose of the game. Alright, I'm going to do something dumb. These things take longer than anything else to come off of their mount. We're going to do this. Salvage goal cleared. Rewards allocated. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. Attach it to something that can arc electrically. Rewards maximized. When I said we were gonna do something dumb, I actually in, in my mind I, I saw myself sending the reactor down manually. Not tethering it to the barge, but I kind of panicked at the last moment. Said no, no, no. We got, we got to tether to the barge. Uh, YouTube hasn't hasn't notified you of my streams lately. Um, I mean, beyond I think clicking that that bell icon whatever that's supposed to be i think that's all you're supposed to have to do i mean part of it might be just me not posting the you know posting them with enough for notice right because i i tend to post my streams fairly late even though we stream at the same time uh, i don't post the uh the stream until I know for sure that I'm going to be I'm going to be able to make it because the last thing I want is to announce you know the intent to stream and then find that I can't actually attend and have people show up to nothing happening <laughs> salvage secured credits deposited so I I I post later than I would like to, and so it might be just I'm posting them too late for the to announce it to you. Processor Credits awarded. It's something I'm trying to get better at, but it really comes down to I, I need to know I'm going to be able to make the stream on time or at all. Like if I if I were a professional YouTuber. And actually make an income off of YouTube, then this would be my job, and it'd be easier to 
schedule the time because there would be no no other priorities that could get in the way. Back. But then I could, you know, schedule stream like a week in advance or whatever. Because uh, at that point it becomes my job and I can, you know, schedule it like I do regular work. Raw material deposited. I, I definitely appreciate you telling me that you're not getting notified because um, I, I want, you know, people to be able to attend. I want them to know what's going on. And uh, then maybe there's, you know, adjustments I can make on my end. Again, like maybe posting earlier, that might just be it. Um, I also can do some research and see if there's been other people who have had that problem of their videos not getting announced in a timely manner. Not like YouTube has never messed something up. 99.2%. <laughs> All right. So now we need a gecko trash gazer for our last ship of the night. So, uh, Liquid, did you happen to catch the uh, the replay of Stacklands or part of it, which was our our stream on? Sunday. Just curious to to what know what your opinion is of the game if you saw it or any part of it. Hello, I, I think we're going to continue it. Please enjoy this inspirational message. Next, the last ten percent of a job. Obviously, I work this weekend. As the first ninety percent, which is why it's so important to always give one hundred and ten percent. But when I set up the Stackland stream, uh, it was specific, specifically to do the uh, the main game board, and wasn't sure whether or not the pacing of it was going to work out. I look at all the geckos in a row. It was going to work out favorably enough to to do like the second map, uh, but it worked out. The I felt like the pacing went pretty decent. So I was thinking I'm, I'll play the second map on stream. Uh, we could cycle to try to get the gecko a little bit higher up on the chart, but I think this is good enough. It's certainly going to be fine for what our purpose is, which is the um, which is to uh, revisit one of the reactor strategies. That's fine, but I don't expect people to, to, to watch the VODs of, of the streams. Uh, curious if you had you had any opinions on the game. Deathlands is one of those games where I've been pleasantly surprised by the the post post release development cycle of it. Salvage deposit registered. Because it was. Credited. So, I'd have to look again, but. So, uh, uh, Stacklands is from a, a programming collective of some sort called uh, Sock Pop. And, um, if I understand it correctly, it's a. I have an organization. Salvage secured. A group that encourages small time programmers to make kind of like concept games and 
kind of churn them out as, you know, this is something interesting and creative, kind of a indie style thing, not AAA titles. And get a little bit get a little bit more of exploration of game types and, and what can be done. And Stacklands was just kind of a, you know, proof of concept that turned into a really good game. And it, I guess it was popular enough that they went back and revisited. All right, how do we, how do we turn this concept in? You know, it was already a full playable game that I already enjoyed. Uh, but how do we turn this into what it could have been? And so they looked at the systems that got kind of that were kind of generic, and they like the combat systems, and they flushed them out beautifully. And they were like, you know. Well, we can actually extend the gameplay. Let's add new maps or new boards and all kinds of new stuff that you can discover. And they just kept adding to it. Like, wow, awesome! It was just great to see. They they knew they had a good concept, and they went, you know what? Let's revisit it and and develop it further. Airlock, and it, all the DLC for it has been free. I feel like I saw something like they were working on the first deal. I think it was them. They were working on they were working on the first paid for DLC for it. Um, Salvage registered. Transferring credits. We have so many games that go through our libraries. I know somebody's working on a their first paid for DLC, but I think it was for them. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. Um let's make sure we don't I don't think we can go out and come back in, but we're gonna check anyway. Pressurizing. Yeah, and like I said, the the uh, and the way that they went about adding the DLC because, you know, like, if you watch the anyone here who who didn't see it or aren't familiar with the game, uh, you're it's almost like a virtual board game sort of. You have a you have a kind of a play mat that it all goes uh, it all takes place on all right we have a chart uh a working right here there uh but your, your entire game takes place on that map as you develop the board and once you beat the game you just beat the game you, you fight the final bad guy and, and and that's it at least that was the original or the original release and they, you know, the obvious like, easy way to add to that game was to add new boards that you played on and with new things to discover. They went, they, not only did they do that, they went it one further, which is that you don't, you don't get to the next board until you've beaten the first board. And the two boards are linked. You leave the main board to go to the new board, and eventually you come back. And then you can kind of cycle between them, and then they can play off of each other. Which was a really neat way of adding to the existing game. So they didn't just give you a new board to play on, they extended the, the normal gameplay. Alright, uh... You know, I guess we'll just everything because we can't we can't go out and come back in then we can't get access to the front so we'll just kind of do it the traditional way of the pressure in the cockpit so in, in Sunday's stream we beat the main board and we're ready to move on to the second board Oh, they do have the working ex external regulator. We should be able to go out. This way, as long as the seal holds. Air pressure level decreasing. What do we want to open up? Uh, 
That is connected to that, so not that. Probably safe to, you know, let's go to the bottom. That's always the safest way. Easier to remove a bottom panel. Although this is the trash gazer and it's not wide enough to have a bottom panel. Oh. We are going to do it like this. What are you still attached to? Er. There we go. Freedom! Object accepted for processing. Credit Oop. deposited. Dark points, don't wanna... Got my suit on that. All right, now we can remove this. Deposit secured. Credits awarded. So in, in Stacklands, I have, when the first DLC was released, I played through that second map and beat it. Uh, and then I haven't played it since then, and I know there's been more... More added. I think there's a third map. But we... In, in the stream, we discovered... We discovered a... kind of temporary third map that I had no idea existed. So that might be the third one? I don't know. I don't know what to expect. I need to, I need to re-beat... Air pressure level. I need to re-beat the second map to see if it, if, what happens. And so that's what we're, we're going to try to do on the next stream. Next uh, weekend stream. Oh, data drive. I cannot believe that we are still finding data drives at this point. Something shot by me. Was. So it doesn't look like we're finding our last poster tonight. Okay. Yeah, sir, sir. Just being uncooperative. Make sure it's paying attention. I don't have to worry about pressurizing something on accident, we can, we can go whole hog on the uh, thing stuff. that is hatched yet, but I'll pre-tether it. 
That's a front cut, yeah. I think there's only aluminum on the top. Um, there. Processing valuable objects. Credits awarded. Where are you going? You now have permission to leave. Break your tether. There you go. Applying credit. Oh, that's dangerous. <clears throat> that guy getting stuck up there could have caused the other one to rebound back before it made it to the barge. I need a canister coming back at us at Mach 2. Would not end well. <laughs> Put that one right over everything. <clears throat> Mine's left. Salvage accepted. Credit upon. We have an aluminum panel there that needs to be removed. Kind of what's slowing us down on cutting this side of the ship. You watching the clock, Cutter? You've got one minute left. He even wise things. Okay. I'm seeing why this one wasn't moving, but the other panel should have moved. That guy right there should be... Yeah, he is free. Move on, little doggy. No, don't spin this. Stop moving. That was bad. I didn't think it was free and it wasn't. And then I accidentally fired off just as the end goes so that panel might be rocketing away. We lost $106. So when a shift starts, we have to rush out there and, and catch that in case it's going somewhere. I mean, it's a large panel. It shouldn't be able to get away from us. Good morning, ship breaker. Lynx would like to share the following message. The only peas permitted in the salvage yard are profit, processor, and potassium trifluoromethane sulfonate. Trifluoromethane sulfonate. Yeah, there it goes. Oh yeah, it was really... I felt like that was going to be super energetic. 
We're lucky that didn't actually go into the processor or the furnace. Come on. I didn't tether it when we came out because it looked like it was not on target for it, so I felt like we were okay. Flying, yeah, flying the, ge the geometry of the... Warning. You are approaching the outer limits of your work bay. Fell down, lady. We're not going anywhere. I'm not trying to escape. I'll hit the sensitive bits. Look at all these aluminum panels we're going to deal with. Material accepted. Credits transferred. Processor deposit accepted. Credits awarded. Right like the sun. Pull off a little bit so I can see where I'm aiming. Object accepted for processing. Credits deposited. I just want to get these out of the way. Raw material accepted. That'll make things easier. I can cut these without accidentally cutting the roof. Alright, yeah, okay. Making sure we got the console off of it. Love watching the skin peel away from the ship. One of the things I enjoy about the gecko design. Processing valuable deposit. Credits transferred. Yeah, it's that's true. Like, but normally, normally I peel the thing away and then remove the panels. It was just there were so many of them that I didn't feel like fighting them, fighting my way down, and you know having to stinger everything free. Well, on the fly adaptation worked out real well. from the side that doesn't have the fuel pipes.
Salvage Take your buddy with here. you. Transferring credit. Salvage deposit all right. registered. We're gonna wait for all those to get in before we pull the front. Deposit accepted for processing. Let's see. Let's get the uh, sensor array thingies out of here. Window might as well grab that light. It still seems strange to me being able to freely cut these things. Because you know, half of them used to be destructible. Back in the day. What is that? That's the little nodule in it, yeah, that you can't remove. A little processor piece stuck on there. We'll get dinged for it. I think I want to pull the thrusters out. Normally we wait and just pull them straight down once the uh, Back end is pulled up and away. If we do it this way, it can be a little bit easier. Here, Trey, I might be able to remove it with demo charges. What? Remove what with demo charges? Sure, what thing you were referencing. And technically, you can remove just about anything with demo charges. <laughs> One way or another. A little processor piece on the board. I see what you're saying. That the, uh, technically, I think you're right, uh, Jared. If we if we, uh, once it's on the barge, once a barge item has been credited, um, you can't lose it. So you're probably right. We probably could use a demo charge to break it open and take that little piece off. We are not going to try to do that. There's an excellent point to make. And I think that you are correct. Applying credit to account. Yeah, the the money amount we're gonna lose that piece is trivial. Uh let's see Salvage here. deposit secured. Credits awarded. In a base. Looks like eight hundred dollars, something like that. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. When we consider the lights that we don't even the little button lights we don't bother to collect are worth like three thousand. We can let it go. Yeah, the, the, exactly. The, the the opportunity cost is what you're talking about. The time it takes to do it, we'd be doing something else of higher value.
I mean, we take longer than we need to do. We, we do things that take that we take longer doing than is necessary all the time. But that's not really a concern. But yes, uh, no such thing as a free lunch. That's not going to move. One side and encourage it to dislodge. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Oh, I just had to look at it funny and it started moving. And then it stopped again. Prep the cockpit while we wait on it to decide if it's going to behave. I scared it to moving. It saw me coming. Stuff the uh, the cockpit. Why not? Ah. You're going in there if you like it or not. Go. Can we stuff in there? All right, I think that's good enough. Oh, they're starting to come out the other side already. You're not supposed to do that. Oh my, what? Salvage secure. What? Account credit applied. It's like they all got sucked out the other end. Get, get in there, get. There's no reason all that stuff should be up front like that. I did not push it in that hard. Ah. Fine. Cancel tether. That was going to be the most Both glorious done, One minute left. cockpit removal ever with all that stuff in it. I'm using extra tethers here because I, I want this to stay in its orientation. Not because I'm in a hurry to get to where it's going. I don't want it spinning around and catching some of this stuff. I want to stuff all this stuff back in the cockpit. I don't think it's all going to go back in. Yeah, see, everything's trying to come out. Fine. It's be that way. How oh, fun. Get double shot. One more. Oh, I didn't make it. <laughs> oh, we're up to a thousand dollars lost. Not bad at all. Yeah, there's the antenna base bottle. Where was a bottle? It must have made it. Must have made it to the uh, to the barge. Hello there, uh, Project Matrix. 
Yeah, that's what she said. Yeah, we were going to, that was going to be the most glorious cockpit removal ever. Put some stuff in there. Maybe next time we need to do it before we, before we, uh, cut the surrounding, uh, next hole freeze where it, so the, it's, so there's an end cap on it. Good morning, ship breaker. Your allocated shift time will be commencing shortly. So for those who are not familiar with what we're talking about, there are usual strategy for, actually, let's check our tools. Our usual strategy for gecko cockpits uh, involves cutting the, the, the rim around the door and tethering the cockpit towards the uh, the hab and then which which scoops everything in the cockpit all together and then we pull it backwards the other way just dumping all the stuff out into one gigantic cluster full of, of barge items and the cockpit's already full of items to begin with and so we just overstuffed it Let's see if we can get some more uh, spewed all over the place Thank you. That didn't quite work out. Salvage secured. Applying credit. Look at this. Should be all the way up here. We like to we like to dry fire. Look at that. Oh, four items on that one pew. Nice. And there's an arc to it because you can't have the objects collide and then become space billiards and they go wherever they want to go. Registered. There's no reason to even pull the, the front away now. There's only like two things left in it. Uh, I mean, the ladder's still in there, I guess. Cutting. We're gonna take this housing away eventually. It won't go away yet because there's a desk attached to the back of it. So we'll have to remove that. What does it pretend that this is full? You're going wonky on us. Up. Up. Like our door. Don't swing, just go straight. There's there's the strategy. We just wanted to have a lot more items on this run, and it just didn't quite work out for us. Also, the cockpit got a little closer to the hab than it's supposed to. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. Stop. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Alright. Yeah, still a few great items. It was better than nothing. It was still a very satisfying looking cluster. Even if it was kind of puny. Salvage accepted. I think the ladder really really added to the appearance.
swinging around too much. All right. Anything else we might have missed? Doesn't look like it. Looks like that spine tried to sneak its way into the furnace while we weren't looking. The tugs, we don't separate the items. You. All right, we don't want to mess with the ECU. We've already removed the thrusters, so that would set off a meltdown. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Yeah, the furnace really wanted that spine. We should name it after that carnivorous plant from Little Shop of Horrors. I can't think of the name of the plant off the top of my head. Yeah, you know, the, the, the Feed Me Seymour plant. Feed Me Seymour? Alright, where are we going to cut floors out at? Uh, bum, bum, bum. one, two, three, four, five, six panels. Five panels, one big panel. Let's go for. Three and five, because we're. Yeah. We're going to need that floor out of the way anyway. Dust face. Audrey, yeah, it's something like that. Yeah, I, I think you're right. I think you're on it. Sounds close. It might be Audrey. That might be it. Or the, the little shop of her, her, horrors plant. Going to the same place, but it'd be awfully unwieldy. Tether levels are low. Are any lights on this? It's like the last one, we're not going to be able to pull this away just yet. I 
there are crew beds attached to the air side of it. Oh, and I have another. Housing on the other corner of it. We we might try to see if we can pull together as one unit. That usually doesn't work out. Or usually turns out to be a lot more effort than it's worth. It doesn't need to be addressed right now, so we'll come back to it. Oh, fell down. Okay, that's not moving. Why are you no moving? Careful. Dangerous. I didn't feel like escorting it out. Hey, Cutter, you've got five minutes left in the shift. Where's the okay, hole cut? Oh, so we're. <laughs> We also got knocked around. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. And the computers went away. be a whole row of computers floating around. Oh, they're all the way at the back. All right, we'll leave them there because we cut that floor out anyway. Material deposited. Account credit applied. a large panel. We're definitely escorting that out. Out of the way. It's safer to pull stuff out. As soon as I grabbed it, it was attached to other things. I want to keep holding on to it. tell us what the coolant pipe is made of. Why it's a processor item versus a, a uh, smelter item. Two housings. All right, Cutter. Time.
time to wrap it up, okay? One minute left. Okay, so next shift we're gonna pull the, the back away. Yeah, I, I mean, I imagine the the pipe is made of something like nanocarbon. It's just usually, you know, most other things, they, they tell you the material. Salvage registered. Transferring credits. There isn't really anything else we can do right now without tethers. Nope, not gonna shoot it. Didn't make the corner cleanly. Wasn't gonna try to beat the timer. By the way, I um, I went out on Easter weekend. I, mean, I, I didn't stream that weekend. I, you know, I'm not good about tracking holidays and, and stuff. Just as my mind doesn't work that way. And so I don't use, I mean, I knew that I had the day off from work. I didn't really know why. And uh, I was just, I just, when I decided to go to the grocery store, I'm like, ah, I'm gonna go to the grocery store. And I went and it was closed. Why is it closed? I mean, I went a little late, but I didn't expect it to be closed. Uh, I just needed a few essentials. So I ended up going to a different grocery store that I don't normally go to, and they happened to be open. And while I was aimlessly roaming the very unfamiliar aisles, I found two things that are going to make me go back. One, I found that they had the real sugar Pepsi instead of just the regular garbage crap. I mean, obviously, a regular garbage but you know to the high fructose corn syrup version which we've talked about in the past that it could be a little challenging to find the real sugar version and it was on it was on the same price as the regular stuff and they had which I don't have a ball sitting next to me they had my favorite tea which is a, a Lipton uh, raspberry white tea which is which is like rare super rare ultra rare yeah the same it was uh it was buy two buy two cartons and get two cartons free of the of the uh real sugar pri uh pepsi i'm like oh yeah sign me up My, my, my regular place that I go... Oh, I forgot to get tethers. My regular place I go sometimes has the real sugar Pepsi, but never has it on sale. Luxury item. Welcome to Vendetron 9000. You can't find it. Are you talking about the Lipton white white tea or the... The, uh... Thank you for your real sugar Pepsi. Story. But the Lipton, I I used to be very addicted to caffeine, like very very addicted. If I went if I went a day without without caffeine, it was yeah Mexican Pepsi. That's exactly what I think it is. If I went a day without caffeine, I would get a migraine. I would, I would go through withdrawals. And uh, at some point, I just went cold turkey. I'm like, you know what? I gotta when I realized that. I went cold turkey. I'm like, I, just, I have to flush caffeine out of my system. And so I stopped drinking Pepsi. And the thing that got me through that, like, terrible month of breaking my addiction was uh, the Lipton teas. There's a little bit, there's already a little bit of caffeine in tea just naturally. But it's not 
added caffeine, so it's just enough to take a little bit off that, a little edge off. Uh, but during that time, I discovered that they had this white tea with raspberry, and it was it just became one of my favorite all-time drinks. And then it just started not being anywhere in the grocery stores, and I couldn't find it anymore. And then I moved to Florida, and I found it in a grocery store for like a month or two, whatever, and then it disappeared again, and it's just been on and off like that, that to the point where I just keep assuming that they don't make it anymore. Uh, and I can't get enough of it, it's just so good. And when I went to the other grocery store, I found, in the same aisle, I found the uh, Real Sugar Pepsi and Lipton White Tea with, with, uh, with uh, Raspberry. Uh, it's 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 a sweet tea, but it's a fruity sweet tea. I, I can't really describe it. It's definitely sweet. It's so good. Like it's just every small sip of it is just liquid gold. And uh, salvage deposit secured. I love it. I love it so much. I've been drinking it instead of Pepsi for the most part lately and been very it's but it's not it's not sweet tea like traditional sweet tea it's, traditional sweet tea is just all sugar I do like it but it's, it's a different body because it's a white tea it's not like traditional sweet tea is a green tea it's a very the white tea is a very wet flavor it's really hard to describe Tastes like I'm drinking from a natural stream with fruit in it. And it's just so good. I was just so excited to see it again because it's been years since I've seen it. And they had it. Up, they was like uh, it was like buy two get one free of the of the pack as well for that. So I loaded up on those. For the past week or so, I, I've been drinking mostly that and very little Pepsi. Makes me happy. Because any, you know, I'm very conscious of the fact that I need to be drinking less caffeine. I don't want to get, you know, I broke my addiction years ago and I don't want to get back to it. I don't want to get back in that hole. Object processed. Transferring credits. Get this out. And I don't think we can get the uh, filter out. That's okay though, because we can cut this pipe out. Uh, it's not like the southern southern sweet peach tea. No, because the the peach tea tends to be a green tea as well, uh, which is pretty good. Like, I, I drink their green tea. Have. No, the, the white tea with raspberry is in, in its, its own category. I expected to be drinking a bottle of it after this Pepsi, but I, don't, I have, just haven't made it through my Pepsi, but focused on the game and padding and haven't been drinking it. Yeah, I mean, keep your eye out for it, but good luck. Like I said, it's it. I find a, a packet of it every few years somewhere, and buy it immediately off the shelf as soon as I spot it. Valuable object 
object processed. Credits deposited. I'm definitely going to be going back to that grocery store specifically for drinks. Hopefully that that hopefully it's a regular thing for them. All right, is this going to work? Almost never does. Oh, it's working. Nice. Move along, little doggy. Doggy, move along. All right. Get all this stuff out easily. Oh, we're not firing that. It's going to push me with it. There we go. Hit me in the back of the head and throw me into the furnace is what happened. I know your game. That's all one panel, isn't it? I was like dragging all that stuff out of the room. That wasn't a good cut. This isn't going to come off. Corner right over there is still going to be attached. Yippers. through just for the panel. There we go. Cutter? Got about five minutes left till you're <laughs> done for the day. Yeah, if as much as I love Pepsi, if I got a lip uh, yeah, a Lipton endorsement, that would make me like if, if they would just ship the white tea salvage deposit straight to my house. Like as part of an endorsement. That would, that's all I would need. I would stop drinking Pepsi. That's how I broke my addiction the first time and it would work again. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Secured. Credit deposited. Straight from the mattress out of here. Goal Rewards will be paid. These can stay, they'll just get scooped up by the room. I'm gonna park quite cleanly. We're actually ahead of schedule. Our time. We could potentially finish this ship this shift if we really Apply pushed it. I don't think we're going to. Alright. So, here's the other strategy. The one that was I was reminded of uh, that we had tried once and I couldn't remember how it came out. We cut the ship in half anyway along that axis usually. We're gonna do it before removing reactor. Actually, we're going to go on the inside, make sure there isn't anything flammable. There's a lot of fabric.
mass. Oh, right. Just had another thought. So the strategy we're doing is to cut that area out and then pull the reactor through the hole and out. And now that I think about it, we don't have to. The gimmick is leading us to a better strategy yet, I think. Which is just pull the entire... Pull, I mean, we, we cut the ship in half anyway. Why not just turn in the back of the ship? We've never done it this way. Why have we never done it this way? It seems so obvious. Credit one minute left to finish things up, Cutter. Inside there. That's not gonna work. Uh, object scanner. Nothing to pull. Okay. No oh, way we never came up with this strategy. This is probably the best strategy of all. Like we have, we have, it was the strategy that I was reminded. Right? At some point we cut this window out in that floor and we pulled it inwards to avoid the pipe. Which is what we were just about to do. And then I realized we just make a couple extra cuts that we're going to make anyway. Pull away the back of the ship. And we have a straight shot. I'm not going to do it with 12 seconds left, because that's crazy. Why are you... That's stuck trying to get into the furnace. This is why we kept hitting this, this ship, is because we were going to come up with... We were going to come up with a strategy that was going to become our permanent strategy for this ship. Because it burnt us once and we're, we're just reinventing our strategies from scratch. In the process, I think we have come up with yet a better strategy than we ever used before. I love that even with as much time as we've put in this game, we can still come up with something new. Makes me happy. Breaker nine three four six dash fifty two. Lynx would like to share the following inspirational message. Some people dream of great salvage, while other people get up every morning and make it happen. I got this one thinking about it. Off that wall. Valuable object process. Credit awarded. He's gonna get stuck in the corner now. Alright, there we go. Material deposited. Account credit applied. It's just that easy. I said if we if we'd pushed it, we could have finished this last shift. I think we're still leading it quicker than usual. We're a whole half an hour ahead of our the usual time we play for going through all four ships. Salvage destroyed. Please revisit your training. Which is strange because we did an AI ship that I felt like we took an extra shift on. Salvage secured. Applying credit. Okay, so all we need to do is get rid of this pipe and the uh, housing. Okay, 
they still attach to. I think we got everything for the occasional panel. That's a fuse panel, isn't it? No, no, that's a door handle. Hide inside the room. Salvage Light on the outside. Transferring credits. Something down there. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. Processor deposit accepted. Credits awarded. Many me. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. I was like, that's an awful big light, but that's the, where the pipe is. <laughs> the remainder of the pipe. That they will be sure to tell me belonged in the processor, not in the furnace when it goes in. 746 dollars. There, now I can't complain about it. Now it's just gonna be uh, gray stuff. It's blinking for help. Save us! Save us! Danger! We don't want to go in the furnace! I'm only doing this because there's nothing else to do. <laughs> Material deposited. Uh, I'm not gonna get it. I'm not gonna move any closer. To... Nope. Uh, that's as close as I get to the the angry furnace god. Sure isn't anything stray. Those things, whatever that is. A panel of some sort. Door piece. Mattress. Raw material accepted. I think we are clear.
Uh, do I find stack lands to be visually lacking? Uh, no, I don't. I, I mean, it's... it's Ooh, 99.5. Uh, the, the visuals of mm -hmm. it fit with the style of the game. Because it's the whole premise of the game is that you're you have tiles that you're stacking. They call them cards, but they're they're really they're tiles, just square tiles. Um, and so all you really need is this symbology that is relevant to the card itself uh, or the tile. Uh, and all that's clear, Your you can tell what it is. It's all. Uh, appropriate to the art style. So no, I, I no, I don't find any any. Uh, it doesn't feel like retro. It just feels appropriate for the style of game that it is. Not that I have any problem with retro. Speaking of retro art style, um, uh, uh, Minecraft Legends just came out. And I was considering purchasing it and this stream tonight being Minecraft Legends. Uh, but I did some digging on the game and there's been a lot of negative reviews on it. Um, that seem to be well-founded negative reviews, which is unfortunate. Uh, but maybe in the future. Like it, From what I've seen of the gameplay, it's a way overpriced for how limited the gameplay is. Uh, and there's just there's been a lot of a lot of complaints about the gameplay, the price of the gameplay, the fact that the the core of Minecraft Legends is that it's a four four on four kind of a power defense space building game. And it looks pretty neat in the premise. Uh, but apparently you can't go in with pre -mades. Like, if I put up a Patreon and I had three Patreons who wanted to join me and, you know, like, you know, let's just get together and do our four-man team, you can't do that. Because you can join, you can have people join a lobby, but then it it splits the people up and then fills in the, the, the rest with, with randos. So if you went in with four, with, you know, three friends with you, instead of the four of you being on a team, two of you would be on the other team. So you can't kind of put together a, a group of, you know, we're going to work together and, and fill these roles. Um, because one of the interesting things about the game from what I've, I've come to understand of it is you have, basically you have an island that both teams are on and they both start with a base. And so you have, you're going to have someone who wants to go out and do resource gathering. Someone else is going to stay behind at the base and build the base. And someone else is going to go out on the offense. And, and so it helps if you have that kind of coordination. And there's a lot of appeal to that because playing games, playing multiplayer games with people that you know, friends or some kind of organized fashion, makes those games a lot more fun. For a game like that to specifically not allow you to go in with a, a group, just like, really? Just really? <laughs> uh, so that seems to be a, a complaint uh, that people have. But also it's just that there's a limited, a very limited amount of stuff that, you know, variation in what you can do. Uh, or it being a $40 price tag. Uh, like, yeah, I can see that for sure. So I'm going to keep an eye on it because it does look like it'd be a fun game. But there was like a lot of reviews are product refunded, product refunded, product refunded. I played for two hours. That was fun. And then it got boring. So, you know, they're all cut. They're like two hours is when you can get your refund off of Steam. And it's like, that's, that's telling. That's something. So I, I, kind, of, I kind of abandoned that idea. Um... So we'll see. You know, it's a game that was just released. We'll, you know, I'm sure that they'll take feedback and and make changes to it going forward. But we'll wait and see how it develops. You know, I'm not typically a big PvP guy, but it it looks like a game that isn't isn't so twitchy. 
you know, like I, I don't have the APM for 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 high end PvP games anymore. You know, I did when I was younger. Uh, but uh, I don't mind some PvP type stuff, and it looks like something that would be not bad. You know, the whole, the whole base building aspect to it, and and running around doing resource gathering and kind of area control. That, that stuff's fun to me. So we'll see. I'll keep an eye on it. Uh, old Sparrows. We've died twice? I remember we died once. I don't remember dying a second time. I don't remember how else we died. Got murdered by the AI once. Is there a crushing death? Hmm. I'm pretty sure we haven't gone into the furnace. I know we haven't gone into the, uh... I took a ship to the... Right, that sounds right. I don't... I mean, you're probably right. I know we've had a couple of weird... Weird... High energy events... I was talking earlier about the AI murdering us, and I couldn't remember how he died, and now I just remembered it, because you, your statement of that. It was, it was, um, we were in a, we were in a gecko uh, station hopper. We closed the door between the uh, already depressurized passenger chamber and the already depressurized, um, VIP passenger area. We opened the door to depressurize it, closed the door, and went to cut the door and heard the AI pressurizing it. So we aborted, reopened the door to re-depressurize it, hit the button on the door again, whipped out the, the as quick as we could, button, brought out the, the split saw, and as we pulled the trigger, they pressurized the room again. The door hit us, and the depressurization event cracked the the uh, visor and started the suffocation. That was how we got. And then we tried to get out through, uh, I think, through the cockpit, and they closed the door on us. And then we came back around, tried to go out through the airlock, and they closed the airlock door on us, repressurizing the airlock, which takes the time for it to cycle. And we never, we just couldn't get out of the, out of the. We just couldn't get out of the ship. The the every time we tried to take an exit, the the AI closed the door on us. Um, so that was our first death. The second one, it, we we might have taken a ship to the face. That was a heck of an event. I wish I had saved the clip of that. I mean, I know it's somewhere on on one of the episodes. Yeah, I couldn't even cut my way out. It was just it was just we were done. There was just no escape. Uh, it was a brutal death. Uh, I mean, I know I have. It's probably recorded because I record most of these sessions. Uh, but I have no idea what episode it was on that it happened. Anyway, uh, I'm going to give you guys one shift of your night back. We're at four twelve on the live stream, and we run. Normally, it takes about four and a half to run through all the all four of the ships. Uh, it was a good session. We came up with a new strategy. This is why we, we were. This is why we were kept hitting the trash gazers because we wanted to refine our strategy, and we came up with what I think to be the good strategy, probably the best one you've ever done. Yeah, I took my time killing all the protectors. Yes, yeah, I, I, I think I made them suffer um, as much as possible. <laughs> uh, I'm petty and vengeful. I, I, I'll admit it. That's the way I am. Uh, uh, you know, we, we have to admit who we are. They, they, they had transgressed against me. They got what, they got what came to them. Um, we will stream again probably Tuesday. I'm not going to commit to it at this point. Um. But definitely next weekend. Next weekend should be the the second board of Stacklands. So 7 p.m. probably Sunday. 
maybe Saturday, but probably Sunday. I'll try to post something earlier. So hopefully you'll actually get the notification from YouTube in time to be aware when it's coming. But uh, I think we've more or less settled into Sunday. Uh, unless I actually get a satisfactory episode done. Which I just feel so bad that I haven't been doing. I work in a factory in real life. And assembly lines and all that stuff. And it's just exhausting. And then I think about making a factory in a game, and I go, you know what, I can do something else for now. Uh, but I miss the game, and I miss making the episode, so I need to get back to it. Um, and when I do, those will be back on Sundays, which is why we used to stream on Saturdays. Yeah. Um, so, that's what it is. Um... That's going to be it, though. Um, have a great night, and uh, I'll try Tuesday, but expect for sure on the next weekend. Um, but thank you very much for coming out. Always glad to see you guys, and uh, I look forward to seeing you uh, on the next stream. So uh, have a great night.